All right, so I got a call from tenants that there's a, an issue here at the other house. So they said that the house was cold, so, and it is cold. I was upstairs, I checked the thermostat, and I changed the, the temperature setting. You can hear the, the thermostat click on and off. So the thermostat's doing what it's supposed to do. But I came down here, pulled the cover off, and I noticed that there is on. Yeah, we can see that in there, but pile is not on for some reason. So I that's the first obvious thing. The second thing is I checked the breakers. All the breakers are fine, and this is a steam boiler. So there's the low water cutoff sight glass. This is the the feed for the water press that button and it'll feed water so it typically when the low water cutoff triggers it'll tell the the feed water system to add more water to the boiler so just pushing that button that it has power so I think we're good there this is our thermostat wires come down in here I think there's a transformer that changes it to 24 volts someplace in here and that's for the thermostat and controls and other things and then here's the the gas valve so I think it's got power. We'll check power at the thermostat just to double check. But I think whatever's going on has to do with the, the gas valve itself. And actually, I, I felt this is, feels warm for some reason. I don't think those are typically that, that warm. So maybe we'll try lighting it back up and see what it does. Access panel. Oh man, I don't have any sockets with me. Does this work? Okay, cool. Worst comes to worst, I suppose I could have just taken that out as a standard screw. There's a little bit more corrosion in here than what they're they build up than what there ought to be. So I wonder if this is our opportunity to clean this up a little bit. I'd be willing to bet that thermal couple has got a lot of junk on it and it's not conducting um, the current signal that typically goes back to the gas valve to confirm the pilot is, is still on. I'd be willing to bet that there's probably enough garbage on that that it's uh it's just not being efficient. You know what else is going on? That's interesting. Why would there be... Is that wet? No, it's not wet. I don't think it is. What's going on here? I think that's just probably condensation. Probably should shut this thing down during the summertime. Just turn the pilot right off so it doesn't have that that low little flame off-gassing a little bit of water as it as it burns. Let's see here. And goes out over there. And it's around over here. Yeah, you know what? While we're here, I think we're just gonna try to clean that up a little bit.
let's see. Chimney? Maybe that's coming from the chimney. I mean, that's just a little bit of water built. water on the floor here is because when we get a big snow melt or a hard rain the ground saturated or in this particular case we had a lot of snow we had like a foot and a half of snow on the ground and then we had a, a thaw and then we had rain so that is why the floor is wet because it comes through the foundation. Those guys are in here. gas had a little bit of moisture in it too. That probably didn't help things because the just peek up in there. The cast iron block it doesn't have any signs of water on it. Just a little bit of like evidence of water here. For whatever reason. It does that's actually that feels a little wet. from okay so let's see here Sorry, I have a cold if that's why I'm, I'm breathing heavy and I got this the sniffles sorry why is that I've seen the end of one of those I've never seen the end of one of these sort of just bubbled up like that. Why is that got a ball? It's just weird. Let's see, what do we got? We got this. We got one of those. Got some of this. Thermal couple. 
that I've never seen a bulge on a thermocouple like that. Just for, for kicks, you know, what we could do is try to light it and see. Let's see, this goes over to pilot. That is right. That's on. That's pilot. That's close. Usually, if it's a good thermocouple, it it conducts heat and then converts that heat to electrical energy. I think in the form of a small, very small, minute current. But I think if the thermocouple is typically pretty good, you don't have to keep your finger on the reset button and, and to force feed the pilot gas. So hold on to it here for another couple seconds. Okay, well it stayed lit. Okay, got this back together, the burners are back in. Those flames. Uh, the, the inner flame is nice and blue and dark. That's good. I checked the orifices. They're very good. There's a little bit of orange in there, but not, but not much. So I think that's okay. And I checked the the valve that closes when the thermostat doesn't call for heat. So that's good. One thing I want to check while I'm here: this low water cutoff. What it should do. When it drops out, okay, good. It shuts the burner off. Perfect. Low water cut off. Shuts off the burner. And now it's calling for more water. So that'll that'll fill in a second. And I think I think we're good to go. Other than I just bashed my flashlight, but I'll button this back up and let them report back if there's any issues. And then I guess we'll deal with it there, or hopefully we're good to go.